Hey guys, welcome back to Bernard from the BTN HD, and I just came back from Micro Center, which is a huge store with electronics. And uh, I think last year I did a uh, Build Me series with you guys. It was five episodes, and I showed you guys how to build the computer from the ground up, uh, which tower I picked, motherboard, hard drive, memory, power supply, all that good stuff. We got we installed the operating system, everything worked. I haven't used it since and I said to myself I need a machine and uh, I need to upgrade this machine to more power so I can start using it as a virtualization server so I went to the store I purchased a two terabyte hard drive from Western Digital it is the enterprise storage device uh, I already have one terabyte hard drive already installed into it uh, and it's broken down into two partitions, but I need an additional hard drive I'm going to be creating a VM workstation server to share out my virtual machines to my network I also purchased more memory. I purchased cons or uh, XMS 3 uh, these guys are uh, two 8 gigabit WDR 1333 megahertz uh, 16 gigs in total. So I'm gonna be inserting that remember on the build I actually inserted uh, 8 gigs of memory and the last thing that I purchased was an NVIDIA GeForce GT 730 graphics card uh, really low end but for what I need I'm gonna be using a uh, virtual uh, GPU within my virtual infrastructure so I'm super excited about that so uh, let's unwrap everything up and start installing all the parts alright so the first thing that I'm going to insert is the hard drive awesome again I purchased all this stuff at Micro Center and uh, I think the hard drive was about 50 bucks it's not bad for a Western Digital Enterprise version 2 terabyte hard drive I also have a SATA cable make sure you got this uh, some of these hard drives don't come with the cable so make sure you got extra one and I'm gonna insert it right here on this particular case it's extremely easy because I just have to do twist it pull up and that's it awesome uh, and then we are going to move these cables to the side I'm gonna drop this guy in here now it's lined up. Gotta make sure those holes, are, those uh, screw holes for the hard drive is lined up. Just put this mechanism in there and we are going to lock it. Lock it down. And we're gonna lock it down. Awesome, cool. Uh, from here, uh, depending on what power supply you use, most likely you have a bunch of these uh, SATA uh, power supplies. Uh, I'm going to pick this one right here because it looks like it's the closest to me. And we're going to insert it. Next thing that we're going to do, we're going to take our SATA cable and we are going to plug it into one end. So this end right here with the L shape, I'm going to plug it into the hard drive. So let me see if I can get in there. Plug you in. Awesome. The other end right here on this motherboard, it has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six SATA. Um, ports and I think on the primary one I put it inside zero and on this one I'm gonna put it in uh, one so this one is zero one and this is two and three so I'm gonna plug this guy directly into numbers one awesome cool 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 cool, cool. so that's taken care of now we're gonna take care of the memory again the memory that I purchased was uh, Corsair, the XMS3 version. Uh, it is um, two, two eight gig sticks, 16 gigs in total. The motherboard itself supports 1333 megahertz, so make sure that when you purchase memory that the memory is supported with the motherboard. Double DR3 memory is good for now, but uh, later on in the future, I'll probably upgrade the memory. So I'm just gonna tear all this up because I'm super excited. I wanna get this out. Oof, how beautiful is that? Two WDR3 8 gig sticks, total of 16 gigs, plus the 8 gigs that I have. If my math is correct, I believe I'm going to have about 24 gigs. This motherboard is only, uh, the capacity of memory is only 32 gigs. Uh, eventually, when I have the budget, I probably budget it for next year, uh, I purchase like 16 uh, gig sticks and just max it out that way. So we're gonna put it in these slots right here. Same thing, click, click, push it down, click, and click. Awesome. Oh, that's it. Now, the last thing that we need to do is insert our uh, NVIDIA GeForce GT730 graphics card. I purchased this one because the price was awesome. 
80 bucks. That's not that bad. It supports my PCIe. PCIe is Express 16X. That's what the motherboard supports, which is awesome. I think right now it has, I'm trying to think of what it has. I think it has one VGA, one uh, DVI, and one HDMI. Definitely an HDMI, which is awesome. So let's open this up. Oh, look at that. Nice. Awesome. So what you get in the box, you get the graphics processor. You're going to get yourself the GeForce GT730. Got a nice little cooling sink with a fan. Uh, like I said before, it has a VGA, HDMI, and a DVI port. Awesome. It comes with the drivers. This is a must. Uh, it, came, it comes with the bracket. The bracket system goes at the back panel, so everything is lined up on your ports. Ooh, awesome. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is right here on the side... So we're gonna get our screwdriver, and within our screwdriver, we're gonna unscrew this. Right now, I'm gonna insert it inside the PCIe 16, because that's where it's going to be supported. And uh, I'm gonna take the first two out. Let's take the first two out. Let me get this. There we go. I'm just gonna take the first two out. There we go. Awesome. Then we're gonna take this guy again. I'm gonna insert it inside the PCIe. 16 uh, port and it belongs there make sure it's lined up and I'm gonna firmly just push it down awesome it looks like it's inserted I'm gonna take one of these guys and uh, put it right next to it because I don't like to have it empty beautiful I'm gonna take this guy and put it back inside the case so I can lock it down all right guys so that is sits uh, huge upgrade for this machine i'm super excited i got a two terabyte hard drive i got a uh, geforce gt 730 graphics card from nvidia it's not a high-end graphics processor but you know what for what i'm going to be doing with my virtual machines it works like a champ i purchased two eight gig sticks uh, from cons air which is xms 3 wd WDR3 memory, total of 16 gigs, gives me a total, I believe, if my math is correct, about uh, 24 gigs, which is awesome. Uh, I'm super excited, so I'm going to show you guys right now all the, all the stuff right here. Awesome. New hard drive, memory, graphics processor. I'm going to close it up so I can start installing all the drivers, make sure everything is running, get into BIOS, make sure BIOS is reading the memory correctly and uh, make sure that this is working correctly and that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video leave comments right below and i catch you guys on the next one peace out